In this video, we will look at how can we use the backward elimination to find the best uh, model for the regression model. So Q4 shows the data for a company's 25-month sale and the possible factors which will contribute to the sale. The manager tried to find the best model to predict the sales. Please use the backward elimination method to find the best model to predict the sales. So now we're looking at our data set here. So the first column is my Y variable sales. So the manager are considering the time of the how many uh, the time operation uh, uh, how many time they already opened market potential advertisement market share changes uh, accountants workload rating so they are the possible factor to have the impact on the sales so we will use the backward elimination to find the best model the key for the uh, backward elimination are two first. The first, every time when you start the running, you include all the predictors. And the second key is, every iteration, you will only delete one predictors. So even you have more than one predictor not significant, you only delete the one with the largest p-value and delete them. And make sure the largest p-value should also larger than your criteria. So in my case, usually we choose 0.05 as my criteria. So first, we choose data analysis find regression and click OK. So as I said, the Y range is the first column, column A, so I choose column A. And then for the X range, I will choose the rest column from B column to I column. And again, I'm going to check my box labels and also I'm going to place the result in the new page 4, right? So this is my first round, so I click uh, dash 1 and then you can click OK. So keep Four decimal, two decimal places. So this is my result. So what are we looking for is checking the p-value column. So under the p-value uh, column, so you first don't need to worry about intercept. So looking at the rest of the predictors, so ignoring the intercept. So the largest p-value here actually is 0.95. So the 0.95 is larger than 0.05, and also it's, la it's the largest p-value. So corresponding to 0.95, we have rating. So which means rating is the variable we should uh, eliminate in my first round regression. So then we go back to my original data set. So first I want to remind you that don't try to delete any data uh, from your original data set. So what we will do is we will copy the rest of the data set you're going to use in the second round. Control cut and control V and paste it next to it because you just in case sometimes you're gonna go back to check your original data set. So you always need to keep your original data set there so you can uh, copy and paste. So now this is my new data set which I'm gonna run the regression based on my new data set. So choose data, data analysis and the regression, click OK. And so the Y range is the sale, it's K column. And the X range is from L to R column, so without rating this time. And then this is my second round, I change the name to Rack 2. So then I can click OK. <laughs> And then I can click OK. So this is my result. Let me keep two decimal places again. And uh, let's see which do we still need to delete more variables. Again, we're looking at the p-value. So the largest p-value beside uh, without considering intercept actually is this. 0.55. This is largest p-value and larger than 0.05 corresponding to 0.055 is workload. So which means workload is the, uh, the predictor I need to eliminate it based on my second round regression analysis. So then I go back to my original data set. I'm going to delete my workload from the, the area I already copied paste. So then I only have one, two, three, four, five, and six predictor left. And then I'm going to run the regression again. So data, data analysis, click OK. And so I'm going to only change my X range. 
So this is my third round. I change in the name to three. I'm going to click OK. And a format sale, choose number, keep two decimal place, and click OK. And uh, let me see the p-value again. So looking at the p-value, without considering the intercept, the largest p-value is 0.29. And 0.29 is definitely larger than 0.05. And corresponding to the 0.29, I have accounts. So obviously, this predictor accounts is not really help on my model. So I will eliminate after my third round uh, estimation regression. So then I go back to my original data set. I delete the account. So now I only have five predictor left. So I'm going to run the regression again, data analysis, click OK. So the Y range is still the same, but X range reduce one more column. So it's reduced to P column from L1 to P26 and then changing the name to 4. So then I got my result and keep two decimal place, click OK. And uh, we're going to focus in on the p-value again. So looking at the p-value, oh, almost there. We only had one value, 0.05, which is larger than 0.05. It's actually equal to 0.053, so it's larger than 0.05. So what we can do here, so obviously this one going to be eliminate. So which variable it is, so it's corresponding to change. So the change will be eliminate um, in my fifth round as uh, regression analysis. I'm going to delete change. So I only had time, market potential, advertisement, and market share. So then I'm going to run the regression again, data, data analysis, regression, click OK. And then the Y variable is still the same, but the, the X range will only include L, M, N, and O. So the P is no longer there, so I change it to O. So this is my fifth round, so I change it to 5 and click OK. So this is my results, format, sale, number, two decimal place, click OK. And uh, let me enlarge my number. So now look at the p-value. Excellent. So everybody are significant. So now this is my best model based on the backward elimination. So the best model including time, market potential, advertisement, and market share. So the significance F is significant. And the just R square is 88%. So let's compare this model with my first model. So my first model significant. Uh, the just R square, 88%. And uh, so now you're going to ask me why we don't use the first one. The first one and the second one, they have exactly the same quality of the population model and the quality of the sample model. Why I need to choose the last model? As I said, the last one is the most efficient one. The first one, we have a lot of redundant predictors in the model, which may will not help us to do the prediction. So again, the best model based on the backward elimination is the model with time, market potential, advertisement, and market share. So backward elimination is the simplest way. It may not give you the best model, but it gives you the relatively better model compared with your initial models.